Okay, today let's check uh, Word chapter 3. So let me open the ebook. Okay, and we will select on the table of contents Word 2019, number 3. This is chapter 3. Okay, and from this we will do practice review assignments and case problem number 1. Okay, select practice. And then let me squeeze this. Okay. All right, let's start step one. Okay, open the document 3.3. .3. So I will open it. My document is in the C drive 103 student data files, Word 3 review. So open this and then save it as security. Okay, in my location. Okay. So once you open it, go to File tab, Save it. This is what we do always. So browse to your folder, work folder, which is in my case, C Drive, CS103, and Homework. Okay, so make sure you select your working directory and then change the file name to the three underscore security. All right, and then make sure the title shows the file name. Okay, number two, promote the schedule and planning for level one session headings from heading one to heading two. So there is, these two headings are here. Here is schedule and planning for level one section. Okay, okay let's check our other, other uh, headings. Okay, if you click this summary, then if you see okay, this style is heading one. And this one is also heading two, and notice is heading notice is heading one, but schedule two is heading two, right? Heading two. So we want to change this heading two to heading one. So why don't we select schedule? So we can we can you can click the left, you know, the left margin of the the line that you want to select, and the hold down the control key, and then select. Click the left margin of this heading, planning. Okay, so we selected two lines. And then these two are always, are already have heading two styles. So we want to change it to heading one. So click heading one. So we just changed multiple headings at one time. Okay, so hold down the control key and then select the lines that you want to change like this. Hold down the control key. Okay, number three, insert the page break before schedule heading. Okay, be, before schedule heading. So this is schedule. So put your insertion key, you know, mouse, mouse point right before the schedule heading. Okay, and then the page break is hold down the control key and then hit enter. Okay, hold down the control key here, enter. Then it will give you the page break. Okay, uh, okay, look at this. In the paragraph group, okay, home tab, home tab, paragraph group, paragraph, okay, enable this, this icon, you know, show and hide paragraph. Enable. So if it's disabled, then you cannot see any special characters, but if you enable this, you know, show hide button, then you can see this special uh, spatial uh, character symbols like this. Okay, this means, you know, new paragraph. So when you hit enter, then you will see this symbol. And since we put, we, we entered control, we, we, you know, we applied control key and the enter key, we can see this page break. Okay, so always, when you, if you want to create a new page, then hold down the control key and hit enter. Okay, so we created a new page and then make, sometimes this is very useful, you know, enable this show and hide button, this one, so that we can see, you know, formats, you know, various things here. It's very useful. Okay, number three. Okay. Okay, insert the page break. Okay, we are done on the page two. Before this network. 
Okay, before this paragraph, so here, okay, insert a table like this. Okay, so we want to insert right before this network. So click the last line of this paragraph, last line, and then hit enter so that we have a new space, new paragraph between right before this network security heading. So from here, okay, make sure the insertion point is in the, in the blinking at this point. And then we will insert the table. Okay, this table has two columns and one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So we want to insert table. So click the insert tab, table button, and then okay, there are two columns and then six rows. So you know, just move your mouse on this table and then once it reaches two by six, then click. So we just created inserted a table and then from this just type in all this information. Okay, when you type, okay, after you type, then you can click tab key. So tab key will move to the next available, uh, available cell. All right. And then at the end of this cell, if you press tab, then it will automatically insert a new, uh, new line, new row of a table. So in this case, we don't need a new row, so control Z, so I can undo it. Okay. So we just created the table and then sort, okay, sort the table by the contents of date column. So this is a date column. So we want to sort this table by the date, by this date. So once you collect, once you select the table, okay, click any, any place in the table and we want to sort it. So go to, so once you click a table, you will see table tools tab. So there are two tabs, design and ta design and the layout. So once you click the layout, we can see the sort button here. So click this sort button. Then this one has a sort by date. So there are two, uh, two, the heading, two, two headings, date and topic. So we want to sort it by date. And then, okay, this table has header. So select this header row. Okay, my list has header row. The first row is the header row. So make sure to click this one and then select OK. Then you will sort, sort this table by the date. What happens if you don't click this header? Okay, my list has header. L let me check this one. If we try this, then this may not, uh, may not sort it. Okay, oh, this one sorted. Okay, good. But usually, we got to put this header row. My list has a header row, so make sure to put this one, select this one, and then put OK. Select OK. All right, so, so the table is sorted by the date. Number five, in the appropriate location in the table, insert a new, insert a new row. Okay, the new row will be endpoint security. So endpoint should be, you know, somewhere okay up, up okay since this table is sorted by date so why don't we put this after you know in the right order so september 3rd september 3rd should be between the right before the last row right so you can select the second the the, the row from the last the second row from the last then we can insert new row after this after this row, after this row. So, okay, if you see this okay, in the in the layout tab, a layout tab, okay, here it is, we wanna insert a row, and then I wanna insert it below, below the selected row. Okay, so if you click insert above, then you will, you will insert a row above the selected row. So what we want is insert below the selected row. So from here, just type in the information 9, 3, 20, 21, and then end point security. Okay, now delete the mobile, mobile, uh, secure mobile security. So that is the last line. So select the last row, and then we want to delete the row. So click delete, and then we want to delete the entire row. So delete rows. 
Okay, so once you click, look at this. There is no tab, uh, no tab for the table. But once you click that, click the table, a table, then you will see the layout and design tab for you know, related to this table. Okay, now modify the width of the columns to ac ac accommodate the the widest character. So, so we, why don't you move your mouse? on the first on this line then can you if you see the the icon like this then move it to the left hold it hold the left mouse button and then move drag and drop even the last one okay hold it so drag it and then move it and then release it okay then apply okay now we want to apply style to the table the style is grid table as in four. So click the table, click this table, and then this is this is related to design. So click the design tab. We have two designs, not this one. We will select the design in the table tools. Okay, and then from the table styles, this one has lots of styles. So from here, we will select grid table four. One, two, three, four. So this should be grid table four. Move your mouse on one of these icons, then you will see there is a tooltip. Grid, table 4, SN4. So it should be the next one. This one. So click this. And then remove spatial formatting for the first column. It looks like the first column is bold, it's in bold. So select the uh, select, you know, these four, uh, two, one, two, three, four, five columns. I mean five rows of the in the first column and then right click and then right click then you will see this tooltip this uh, mini uh, mini toolbar and then select okay, deselect bold so we just removed the bold type you know the bold bold format okay number nine locate the table locate the table in the network security cost okay okay on the okay look at this one this table has three columns and it has the last row is empty so what we're gonna do is the low right cell the lower right cell is this one this one add a formula field that sums the total cost per month so the cost per month is this one we want to insert a format so that this will automatically add up all these values. So select the lower right cell, this one, select this cell, and then okay, click the layout tab. Okay, layout tab in the table tools, table tools uh, tabs. Okay, from this, we will insert a formula. Okay, formula is this. Okay, we will insert a formula for making sum. So click this, then this one is a sum. Sum, okay, just we will use this, we will not change this. The formula is this one equals sum above. So this will make total of all the numbers above this cell. And then click OK. So this is the total for these three prices. Okay, so, and then next one is Okay, change the okay, and then change the DNS protection. So DNS protection price 450. So we want to change this one to 650. So change it. And then once you change it, we need to update. You know, this one the total does not update automatically. We have to update this total. So right click, right click on this cell, and then here is update field. So select this menu, update field. Then this will increase. You know, this is this updates the total. Alright, and then merge the two blank cells. So I will select the, these two cells. So click and then drag it to the right. So we selected two cells and then we want to merge. So from this layout tab, here is the merge cell. You know, this is similar to Excel. So you know, Excel is a table. So we have a similar features and then merge cell means, you know, you know, 
this makes one cell and then I want to type it total total and then this is right aligned the okay, right align is here alignment group okay, here is the right so click the right top you know align right top so this will be aligned right okay and then next one okay apply okay, apply the style of this group so i'm gonna apply grid so that is in design tab so it should be the same thing number four this grid table four s and four so apply this style to this table and then remove this bolt so select these three rows in the first column right click and then disable bolt okay number 13 on page one okay more page one here is instructor's name okay we will, we will include some lines and then this will be a tab list a okay, tab list of instructors so that means okay let's insert Okay, from okay, select select the first row select I mean, uh, select this row and then we will replace this with three instructors type in Suzette Carrington Brewster and then tab okay this is comma comma means in this case tab you know comma is a tab in this case because we want to tap we want to have a tapped list instructor and their positions so and then so click tab key on the keyboard and then type malware enter okay, instead of the semicolon enter and then enter and then type in the next instructor leah kim tab key hold you know press the tab key you know, just once press the tab key only once because we want to apply one tab and then later we will align the tab space server security enter leopold r korea okay tab key social engineering okay All right, so what we did is we entered instructor name, tab key, and the position. All right, then select this, select these three lines, three lists, and then we want to apply, uh, we want to insert a tab, okay, insert a tab, space. So this will be, you can try this, okay, in the paragraph group, okay, home tab, paragraph group, press this, the uh, paragraph dialog launcher and then at the, in the lower bottom click these tabs tabs so from here the first tab you know the the tab stop position will be two point okay, this one says 2.5 inches from left margin so type 2.5 so the first tab will be stopped at 2.5 inches from the left margin so alignment is left and there's no leader no leader means you know between tabs we will not include any uh, special or uh, special symbols like this number two number three four five so none means there's no just a blank between uh inside between two uh two characters you know, two words so click set and then okay so look at this instructor you apply the tab key so the tab will move to 2.5 here it is on the ruler on the ruler can you see this one here's the tab mark on the, the you know the left tab mark on the 2.5 position same thing Leah Kim and Koya all right okay number 14 use the left tab left tab stop to uh, align the instructors Special, uh, special tier two point. Oh, this is what we did. Okay, turn on the automatic hyph hyphenation. Okay, hyphenation is this. Okay, it's in the layout tab. 
layout tab, this is hyph hyphenation. So you know this, you know when when I when a line is not is short, you know it's not enough to put the last character, last you know, vocabulary. Then this will cut, you know, the last vocabulary will be cut, and then there will be a hyphen in included at the end of the line. So let's make it automatic. Okay, turn on automatic hyphenate. So if there is a, like this one, company, right? Company. The companies, so the company is one word, but since this is, this line is not enough, there is a hyphen inserted between this. Break, you know, break this word and then insert this hyphen. All right. After the second table on page two, okay, so after the second, so click, click this part. Insert a page break. Okay, page break is what? Oh, no, not the page. Sorry, section break that starts a new page. Okay, section break. Okay, section break is a little bit different from page break. So select the, okay, make sure you insert a cursor at the end of this, right, you know, next line of this table. Okay, so we want to insert, because the, in the layout tab, layout tab, here it is a page setup group, select, click the page, you know, click the break arrow. Okay, there are many different types of breaks so page break this is the page break same as control enter control enter okay and after this three then here is a section break so this is what we're gonna do so we will have a section break for new page so next page section break new page this is what we're gonna do so select this one then here is a spatial in the symbol Section break is applied at this point, and that is uh, next page. Okay, so we have a new page here. And then format the new page in landscape orientation. Now, you know, the format of the page, the layout, the layout is actually portrait. But at this time, we want to make the last page, this page, as a orient the orientation will be a landscape. So select the last page and then select landscape. So this will, so only the last page will be, uh, layout will be orient, the layout of the orientation will be landscape. That's why we apply this new section, next page. I mean, a, you know, section break. So apply the section break, next page section break so that we can apply, you know, different layout of the page. Uh, right, and then uh, number 17, okay, insert the small art graphic that illustrates two parts of upgrading. Okay, so on the last page, on the last page, we will insert a small art. So click insert. Okay, small art is in, the, in this illustrations group. Here's small art. So from this small art, there, there are, this is similar to PowerPoint. You know, PowerPoint has this small art. So from here, we will click the process. Okay, using the circle process graphic from the process category. So here's pro process category, and there are so many, uh, so many uh, forms related to this process. We will select. Circle process, circle process. A circle is something like with circle, so probably this one. So move your mouse on this icon, then this one has, this one shows circle process. So select this, it looks like this, and then click OK. So from this one, we'll, there are three, uh, three circles. So for each circle, we will enter this information. So click the first text. Security. You now, once you type in, the size of the character will change. Training, and then select the next text. Web secure portal plus, and then the third one, secure network. 
Okay, do not include any punctuation. Okay, size the smaller graphic to fill the page. Okay, this is our page. So click this, click this graphic and then click the lower right corner and then drag it. Drag it so that it fits the page, something like this. Okay. Uh, maybe up to here is fine. Okay, number 18, create a folder for section 1 and 2 that aligns your first and the last name at the left margin. Okay, so we have two sections because, you know, we created a section bricks. There are two sections and then we want to insert insert footer on this both sections so when you insert a footer how do you insert well the easy way is okay let's click the second page the first page or second page doesn't matter and then double click on the bottom of this footer you know from uh, the bottom of this page which is the footer so double click and then from here we will insert uh, where is it Okay, your first name and the last name. So enter, so type in your, your first name and last name. And then also insert the page number without any design element and without any page number below your name. So below our name. So once you enter your, once you type your name and then hit enter, and then we will insert page number. So the page number is in here. So in the design tab of this header and footer tools, click the page number. We want to insert in this current position. The current posi position is where your cursor is. So we will select this one. You know, the, only the plain page number. Okay, like this. So it says without the word page, just one is enough. So once you click this, then one will be inserted in the first page. If you scroll down, second page, and then third page, automatically inserted. But right, once you're done, you can click this arrow button, you know, this close button, or you can double click the main body of the page. Okay, number two, separate the section two header from the first uh, section one header. And create a header. For section one, you see this retros, uh, retrospect header style. Enter this word. Okay. Okay, let's try. Okay, this time we want to insert the header. So why don't you click the first page or second page and then double click the header in the first page or the second page? All right. And then for the section one, Okay, retrospect header style. Okay, that one is in. Okay, we want to insert the header. So from this design tab, the same as in the you know, just just like just like we are uh, and we insert a page number, we will just select header arrow because we want to insert header, and the header style is re, okay, scroll down a little bit. Here is retrospect. Retrospect. So we want to insert this header. So click this. And then this one has title, the document title, and date. So click the document title and then enter okay, improving. So make it uppercase. We will enter this uh this phrase. So this title. So press the cap, you know, caps lock so that we can enter. We can make all uppercase. Improv improving. Network security at spruce and copper. All right. And then for the date, okay, why don't we select the current day? Today is 23rd. Uh, you know, this depends on the date you are working on. Or you can select any date, it's fine. Okay. 
Okay, number 20. So, okay, once we create this one, if we scroll down, so we have the same header in the second page. And even the third page, the third page is, you know, the section two, right? Because there is a section break. But if you see this, it says to separate, separate the section two header from section one header. So, okay, if you see this, look at this, look at the header. Okay, on the, on the third page header, okay, make sure you are on the third page header. This one has same as previous. See here, same as previous. That means, this header will have the same header as the previous page. But since we need to separate this header, we need to disable this uh, same as previous. So we can disable it, this one from here, okay, click the, okay, from this. Here's the link to previous button. So link to previous button is, is uh, enabled. So why don't we click this to disable? Disable it. And then see here, we don't have that word. Okay. The footer, the footer has same as previous, but for this header, there is no same as previous, right? Because we disabled, disabled it, uh, disabled this link to previous. So actually, we don't need this one. So we, why don't we select this and then, and then select this header and then, uh, wait a minute. We need to uh, close this. We don't need it, so we can cut. Uh, okay, cut. So select it and then right click and then cut. Use cut. Actually, we should have separated first before you know before applying the header. So right click and then cut. So you will cut the header in the in the last page because the header is not linked to the previous one the header of the third page is not linked to the previous one so we don't have a header okay and then double click on the main body so we can see the body and the header okay insert the cover page okay cover page is this so Okay, at any place, you can insert the cover page. The cover page is the first page of your document. So insert, click the insert and page on the left, on the left button, arrow. And then there is a page cover, your cover page. So click the cover page arrow. There are so many different types of built-in cover page. So we will select retrospect, retrospect. So scroll down. Here is the retrospect. So select this. So we just added a new cover page. The new cover page does not have any uh, page numbers, nothing, right? Just a cover page. Okay, and then from here, we will okay, display all the uppercase, all the uppercase. Okay, revise the document title if necessary to make all uppercase. Okay, this is all uppercase, it's okay. Change the hyper, hypernation option. Here it is. Okay, network. Okay, network should be in one line. We don't want we don't want title to be, you know, a word in the title to be separated. So this is related to hypernate. So, so why don't you click this layout and then hypernation none. So network is, is in, uh, the word network is in one line, not separated. Okay, it's no longer hypernated and add the following subtitle. Okay, now the document subtitle is, so click the document subtitle and then type prepared, prepared by your name. Okay, prepared by your name. So make sure your name is your name. Delete the author document list. So we want to delete all of this. So why don't we select all of this and then click the delete key or you can right click on the selected area, cut. Okay. So 21, change the document theme. Okay, now we want to change the theme. The theme is, get the theme is here. Get design in the design tab. Design tab. 
the first button is a theme. The theme is already predefined. So the heading, style, you know, all these things are predefined. So we will, we will use, uh, what is the name of the theme? Slice. Okay, theme is slice. So why don't we select this slice? So can you see, as you move around the cursor, you know, the theme changes. Right? So we will select slice. Okay, and then save the document. All right, click the save button or control S. And then review the doc, review the report, and that's it. Okay, so that's it. Huh? So we should have your name in the footer and the page number. And the last page is orient the orientation is landscape. There is no header, but the first two pages have headers. And then you have cover page with no hyphenation like this. Okay, so we are done for this practice homework.